do consider Atlanta home. You know, I have a place here and things, but and we filmed while and out here, shot a bunch of movies here. Uh, literally drum line, like right over there. Uh, but uh, the talent pool here in Atlanta is tremendous. But uh, uh, it doesn't get the credit for comedy as much as it should. I mean, we got some of the greatest comedians to come from here, from, you know, the, the Chris Tuckers, and uh, even a lot of the young individuals on Wild and Out, like the DC Young Flies, and, uh, so many other people that, you know, Emmanuel Hudson, Carlos Miller, all of you guys kind of uh, represent uh, 85 South very well. And um, it was, you know, I remember coming through and, and, and casting and uh, just letting these guys do what they do best. And, you know, it's continuing to, to thrive for our brand as well as their individual brands. My thought about that is it all goes to cultural equity. Um, and when you understand what any type of equity is, when in the bank is, you know, you're building up uh, energy in that, in that state. And cultural equity to me, is really about what have you invested in for the culture at this point in your career as an artist. So, you know, someone like a Gladys Knight has, has an abundance of cultural uh -huh. equity. Uh, and you can't, you know, the decisions that she makes have always been for the culture. Uh, some of the newer artists are the ones that we may not know to represent our culture. They can use these times to, to make a cultural statement or not. But it's, you know, it's, it's individualism or it's culturalism. So it's, it's up to that individual. And, and I, I don't knock in, you know, artists for, for either one, but me personally, I try to uh, make as many cultural investments as possible and build my cultural equity up. Yeah, do a, do a, doing a favor, <laughs> stepping in. I think, well, again, it, I felt like it'd be something I could have a lot of fun with. You know, I'm, I, got, I was telling you previously, I'm getting ready to go do a film uh, and I was prepping for that. So I had a few days off to kind of do film prep and kind of lock in. I was like, and then, you know, I got the call. I was like, All right, yeah, I could do this for a few days. Right now I'm only doing, uh, I've only signed on for three, but uh, I'll, you know, you never know. I just, me like everyone else, I'm just anxious to get Wendy back in the chair. So, you know, uh, but as long as they need me, I, I'm one phone call away. <laughs>